Hey guys, my name is Brandon, aka the Brando Critic, and I got another VHS haul for you guys today. Two giant tubs full of random VHS tapes. I saw this marketplace listing. He was selling his VCR, and he's like, just take all my tapes. 25 bucks, just take them all. And I see right in the top, you know, there's GoldenEye, there's some Godfathers, and I'm like, you know what? Sure. Um, my parents still have their VCR. I'm gonna let them keep that one. Now I got my own. So a lot of these VHS tapes, if I actually do want to watch any of them, I actually do have a VCR now that I can actually watch them. So I haven't put up the display quite yet. I figured, you know what, maybe there's some ones in here that are worth putting in the display. Maybe there's some in here that might be worth some value that I can get actually some more of a resale value on, depending if they're on good shape, in good shape or not. And I like doing these kind of videos. I like just rummaging through and finding all these different things. Like I see that there's some crap in here, like some PGA Tour random videos in here. But let's go through this. Let's hope they're in good shape and let's see what we can find. So. Right off the bat, we have Goldeneye, uh, the best uh, Pierce Brosnan Bond movie by far. So that is definitely going in the uh, collection. And again, guys, if I don't end up using all of these, these will be going back to thrift stores. They'll be going to the dump, some of them, if they even won't accept those. And yeah, some of these might be able to be resold. Um, like here we got The Godfather. You know, this is another double. If you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but we have the widescreen edition, the Godfather uh, box set. But we have the Godfather, the double VHS right there. And we have Godfather Part 2 and Godfather Part 3. And these ones are sealed somewhat. Um, you know, they have uh, the bottoms, you know, open. But here, you got Godfather Part 2 and Godfather Part 3. All right, what else we got here? Uh, yeah, game improvement from golf. Yeah, again, it's just, we don't need any of that stuff. Uh, in search for Indonesia's most secret animal. I feel like I'm on like Red Letter Media and we're going through like the most random VHS tapes. Maybe I should send some of these to them. Uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids with a Roger Rabbit cartoon on top of that. That's actually not too, uh, not too bad. Cute. Yeah, it's crazy we didn't get more Roger Rabbit movies. Uh, World Traveler with uh, Billy Crudup and Julianne Moore. A very young Julianne Moore. Interesting. Uh, the Molt Whiskey Trail. See, again, like all this kind of stuff. I feel like I should send some of this to Red Letter Media, but who knows? We'll see. Uh, a sealed copy of Forrest Gump. Look at that. That is cool. Again, I, I love this movie. I feel like it's like a cool movie to hate nowadays because of the Oscars and everyone wants Shawshank or anybody to win. But uh, I, I still love Forrest Gump. A sealed copy of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. See, you can get some gems in here. Although there is some... Yeah, I'll try, try to take that off later. But anyways, a sealed copy of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And by the way, guys, I just got back from vacation from Arizona, so that's why in my last video I have Arizona Coyotes gear, and in this one I have Arizona Diamondbacks gear. I'm definitely a homer when I travel. <laughs> the Little Colonel, Shirley Temple, cute. Uh, Jane Austen's Pers Persuasion. I wonder if there's any um, major actors or actresses in this. I don't think so. Looks like it's a straight to VHS type of ordeal. Uh, yeah, like most of these are just really weird, but hopefully I'm, I'm hopefully I'm going to get some really good ones as well. Uh, The Outlaw, Jane Russell, Jack Butel, uh, Thomas Mitchell, and Walter Houston. Again, I'm look, it's looking like a pretty old movie right there. Uh, The Three Tenors in Concert, 1994. Yeah, so like this is like just the random, randomness of VHS collecting. Uh, oh, here we go. George of the Jungle. I actually had this one as a kid. Um, I've only seen it once on VHS, but isn't that Leslie Mann as well? And of course, you can't have a VHS collection without Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. Uh, King Kong in color. So, oh, this is the this is the original King Kong, but it's in color. What do you know? That's actually pretty cool. Look at that. I love that movie, by the way. The first King Kong. Uh. Ivanhoe, MGM, a classic right there, cool. Uh, oh, this is cool. A Star is Born, the original. Look at that. I'll, I'll have that next to my Bradley Cooper version. Oh, oh, see, like, it's in bad condition at the top, but Dick Tracy. It's an awesome cover. And you can see all the photos in the back. Madonna right there, Al Pacino. 
Crazy. Very cool. Maybe I can tape that down. Yeah, Dick Tracy. There you go. Cool. Um, yeah, like Rapunzel, hosted by Olivia Newton-John. Timeless Tales from Hallmark. Yeah. <laughs> you, are, you are getting some crap in here. Uh, James Cagney, Blood on the Sun. So some classics. Okay. Uh, let's see here. City Slickers. Billy Crystal. Interesting. Two enthusiastic thumbs up. Oh, look at that. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Tombstone. I've heard many great things about this movie. It's one of my uncle's favorites. Um, but I heard it does not... Um, it doesn't hold up as well as it did back then. Or I guess it just doesn't hold up at all. <laughs> so look at this. Look at this big guy. So it's obviously in really bad condition. But this is Supergirl. Her first great adventure. And then on the inside, it comes with like this black VHS, uh, you know, little... I don't know what these things are called. Um, plastic cases. I don't know if there's like an official title for them. Like, you know, steel book with Blu-ray and 4K. I don't know what uh, these ones would be called. Uh, let's put that off to the side. Uh, how in the world do you pronounce that? Guinevere? Guinevere? Yeah? Uh, what do we got here? The Horse Whisperer. Robert Redford film. Two thumbs up. Siskel and Ebert. There you go. Robert Redford. Okay. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Apollo 13. Yeah, definitely keeping that one in the collection. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, the Mask. I definitely pulled that one on the last uh, pickup as well, but we got The Mask. I think that one was in a different color. I could be wrong on that, but we have The Mask. Uh, the Empire of the Sun, so some Steven Spielberg. Very nice. I like that poster, too. Really nice. Um, the Little Shop of Horrors with Jack Nicholson. Wow, this is an oldie. Cool stuff with that. Uh, we got the Sandlot. We got one of the... Yeah, like, what are these things called? Like, the plastic cases? Like, what's the actual name for these? We got the Sandlot. Um, Killing Zoe with Eric Stoltz from the creators of Pulp Fiction and True Romance. So is this Tarantino? Exclusively produced by Tarantino. Interesting. Killing Zoe. Or Killing Zoe. We don't pronounce Zoe like that. Um, Dirty Dancing. Oh boy, this is like in some really weird plastic case. Because it's the normal VHS underneath, but it's in like this really weird squeeze and shake. That is bizarre. Have you guys ever seen this before? Am I just that young? If you guys want to know how old I am for people who are like... You weren't around when these things were out. I was born in 95, so I remember VHS. This is not just like, you know, some archaeolog archaeological find for me. Yeah, I can't get this fucker out. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're getting like a bunch of just random... Oh, look at that. Force Gump Part 1. This is like filmed on TV. Interview with a Vampire. Again, just a bunch of random tapes. Uh, black spying tapes. Again, I won't even show that. I think this is a Betamax. Oh my god, now this really is dating me. Uh, Gulliver's, Gulliver's Travels. This is definitely, yeah, this is a Betamax tape. Honestly, I don't think I've ever actually held one before. Betamax, interesting. Well, there you go. Uh, look at that, Pulp Fiction Part 1. You guys can see that. So, again, like, th these things are basically worthless. Uh, PGA Tour Golf, Volume 1, with, uh, you know, the full swing, Hal Sutton, Craig Statler... You know, again, it's just I don't I don't I don't have any use for these. Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to get through these as fast as possible and get onto the second uh, box because a lot of these are just um, you know. Hopefully, the guy didn't just dupe me. I mean, I did buy the player and I did get quite a few cool VHS tapes already, but a lot of these are just like you know blank. I don't know if he's filming the news or you know filming the Berlin Wall falling or something like that or taping on the news. Uh, actually, sorry, this one was uh, the James Dean story. Was he a rebel? Was he a giant? So the James Dean story, which is probably a documentary. Uh, more random VHS tapes. Um, the best of Hockey 93. You know what? I might actually just watch that because I am a huge 
NHL fan, and I love watching old highlight reels, so I might even watch that one. Um, yeah, see, like, just all this random crap. WrestleMania, old tapes. I think, let's just shift these around. Yeah, a bunch of old extra tapes. You guys are, like, screaming at your computer right now. It's like, show us something that we actually want. How about this? Lord of the Rings. Fellowship of the Ring. That's one for you. There you go. I wonder if... All three of them came out on VHS. They probably would have, because I remember getting Spider-Man 2 on VHS. And that's 2004, so that's pretty pretty late. Uh, the History of the PGA Tour. That's uh, Sports Illustrated. Again, guys, this is just going back to the, uh, the thrift store. Uh, Philadelphia. Nice. I can keep that one. Uh, more of that, more of that. All right, let's just say we get into the second box, and then we'll... Hopefully we can get some more goodies. Okay guys, so I got now the second box open and yes guys, there are many more better tapes in this one because like right away I see Terminator 2 Judgment Day right there. You know, I already have this one from the last haul but hey, Terminator 2, like one of the best movies ever made. One of the best action films ever. Uh, Happy Gilmore. See, there you go. We're off to a good start guys. Uh, a double, The Green Mile. You know what's funny? I have only seen this movie out of order on TV. I've never actually seen it from beginning to end. I gotta do that one day. Um, Circo, Humphrey Bogart. There you go. Bad cover though. Very bad cover. Uh, Crawl. Nah, now that's a cover. Now that is a cover. Um, Instinct, Anthony Hopkins and Cuba Gooding Jr. Interesting. Never heard of it. And again, guys, let me know what you think of all these movies uh, that I'm pulling up. Um, Antonio Banderas, The Thirteenth Warrior, uh, from the author of Jurassic Park and the director of Die Hard. Interesting. It's in a little rough shape, but The Thirteenth Warrior. Look at that. I think James Horner did the score for this one. I could be wrong on that. No, it was, uh, oh, Jerry Goldsmith. Sorry, not James Horner. Um, nothing sacred. There you go. Uh, ooh, I see one that I like. That is cool. Bowfinger. One of the most underrated movies I've ever seen. And I remember buying this on DVD, like, for, like, 15 bucks, because I couldn't find it anywhere. And it was such a great movie, but now I have it on, uh, VHS. That is awesome. I'm definitely happy that I got that one. Um, we got some more ba random Betamax, uh... Oh, here we go. Excalibur. Now that is a cover. Look at that. That is beautiful. Excalibur. Forged by a god, foretold by a wizard, found by a king. Awesome. Excalibur. Okay. Um, the Snapper? From the writer and producers of The Commitments. Okay, I've seen The Commitments. Not terrible. Uh, my mother loves that movie because she's Irish. Um, Rumble Stiltskin and... Oh, geez, part of the VHS is, like, coming off. Rumble Stiltskin, is that, uh... Oh, Amy Irving. I was gonna say, is that Michelle Pfeiffer? Yeah, Rumble Stiltskin. Um, let's put that down there. Ah, uh, yes. The Mummy. Definitely had this one as a kid. It's a very fun movie, for sure. Glad to have that one in the collection. Hook! A little overrated, if you ask me. Don't shoot me, internet. Tell me why I'm wrong down in the comment section down below. Ah, uh, yes, I had this one, and now I'm glad to have it again. American Pie. Man, I feel like that that movie, I saw that at the perfect time. Um, obviously, I was four when that movie came out, but I saw it when I was 15. So, oh boy. Ugh. <laughs> Thank God I already have this one. Men in Black. Um, that one there. Uh, what is this? Lean, mean, fat, reducing, grilling machine, video recipes. George Foreman. That is bizarre. <laughs> Sometimes you can get those weird things when you're uh, looking through VHS halls like this. The Matrix. Of course, you got The Matrix. Um, cocktail. Great poster. You know, picked that one up uh, in the last haul, but there you go. Cocktail again. Uh, Kiss of the Spider Woman. There you go. Cool stuff. Uh, the Blair Witch Project. Got that in the last haul as well, but you got the Blair Witch Project. Um, the Woman in Green, a Sherlock Holmes mystery. 
Interesting. Oh, yeah, the woman in green. Sorry, that's the cover. <laughs> um, whoa, what is this? G2 Mortal Conquest. That is a, that's a cover and a half. <laughs> Looks very, very cheesy. Very strange. Uh, Dumb and Dumber. Classic. I had this VHS as well, growing up. Uh, Rush Hour. I've never actually seen Rush Hour, so that's cool to have. Uh, Breakdown with Kurt Russell. I haven't heard of that one before. Cool stuff. Uh, SOS Summer of Sam, 44. John Leguizamo and Mia, Mira Servino. Interesting. Thumbs up, Roger Ebert. Never heard of that one. Uh, that's just more... Uh, yeah, see, here's this weird cover thing again. Armageddon. How did I even get this thing in here? You're supposed to like hold it like this and just shake it out? I don't get it. But either way, I have two of these Armageddons already. Uh, this movie is bad. I don't care if it's like a cult classic or it was good back then. Uh, no. Cruel Intentions. I just don't get it. What's up with that ending? What is up with that ending? Uh, Under Fire. Nick Nolte, Gene Hackman. There you go. Under Fire. Uh, Terror by Night. There you go. 1946. Sherlock Holmes. Um... The Hard, The Hungry, and The Homeless. I feel like this is an older Australian film, I think. You guys can let me know. It's weird how it's like, to order your copy, you know, this is how much money you gotta spend, and... Oh, interesting. Weird. Very strange. Uh... Love and Hate? A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Never heard of that one before. That's a Martin Lawrence comedy. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Black Mask, Jet Li. Interesting. Haven't heard of that one before. Ah, uh, oh, oh, it's in terrible shape. That's too bad. One of my favorite movies ever, Braveheart. And it's the double VHS tape one, too. But it's it's in such bad shape. Like, look at that. Ugh. Uh, that's too bad. That is too bad. But hey, like, that's what you get when you just, you know. Oh, here's another one that's in just awful condition. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so <laughs> see, like this is where this is how you just get people's junk from their garage. So, oh, just going through people's garbage. First night, <laughs> you can use that to start a campfire, and it was stuck to the world is not enough. I had this one on VHS tape as well, in bad condition, but I made it so. <laughs> But hey, there's there no way to get that thing off without it, you know, screwing up. But we have The Hitcher. Don't know much about that one. Uh, Stir of Echoes, Kevin Bacon. Interesting. Thumbs up, Roger Ebert. There you go. Again, I, all these movies, I'm like, what are these? Trespass, Bill Paxton, Ice-T, William Sadler, and Ice Cube. Huh. Trespass. Oh, The Insider. I've been wanting to watch this movie for a while. I think uh, Tarantino was talking about it, how good it is. Russell Crowe and uh, Al Pacino, Michael Mann. Uh, obviously, Best Picture a nomination. Uh, yeah, see, like this is like The Deadliest Art. It's like Best of Martial Arts and uh, Spartacus. But it's like, come on, man. Like, that's... Oh my god. Like see that is just that is just so sad. That is so sad. But you know what though like <sighs> look at that. Some people are going to be screaming at me right now, but it's like what are you going to do? Like they're glued together. That's Spartacus. Okay. Dumpacus. Uh Yeah, it's like oh my god. We got Roadhouse and we got The Last Boy Scout. But of course, how does it happen like this? How do you get... Ugh. Yeah, see, like, no one wants that in their collection. Like, that is just... If they're stuck together like that, in my mind, they're just pure garbage. 
Uh, Wyatt Earp. There you go. Again, not the best condition, but Wyatt Earp. Um, Love Stinks. That looks like a funny comedy. It looks terrible, but it, it I, I have a soft spot for like the late 90s, uh, like terrible comedies like this. 1999. Man, 1999 was the year for those kind of movies. American Pie, uh, 10 Things I Hate About You, She's All That. Uh, another Pulp Fiction. There you go. Can't go wrong with Pulp Fiction. Uh, the Batman. In terrible shape, though, but I did get it uh, last time in the other one. Uh, Goodfellas. Another one. Uh, Batman Forever. That one's not in too bad a shape. Batman Forever. Uh, Wayne's World. It's a very good one. For sure. Absolutely. Um, without a Clue. Not bad. Uh, another Apollo 13. So, two Apollo 13s. Uh, ooh. Oh. I saw this. I saw RoboCop. But it stuck to Bruce Lee and the Kung Fu. Like, how? Like, have you guys ever gone over to your, like, your friends' places when you guys were kids? And again, I'm talking to people around my age. Where, like, you'd play, like, PlayStation or Xbox or whatever. Or any, like, disc-based system. And then they just have, like, discs all over the floor. This is, like, next level. Like... God, that is, that is so disappointing. Uh, Lethal Weapon 1. There you go. Had that in my last pull as well. As well as Jurassic Park. You know. Can't go wrong with those ones, though. Uh, Father's Little Dividend. Spencer Tracy. Elizabeth Taylor. Gotcha. Mrs. Doubtfire. I uh, have that one already, but again, bad condition. It's too bad. But hey, it's it's... A bit of a crapshoot, you know. Mel Gibson's Payback. Heard this movie wasn't the greatest. Uh, just random, empty cassette tape. Uh, see no evil, hear no evil. That's Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder. Interesting, but it's in like one of these like terrible. Um, yeah, you can see that they just like cut it up and put it in one of these terrible uh, VHS covers. Uh, high risk. And again, one of these really terrible uh, VHS cases. Um, oh, damn it. See, Legends of the Fall, but it's like glued to this Betamax. Anyway, another George of the Jungle. We got two of those. Uh, oh, there's the first night. <laughs> yeah. Some that would come up, I think it would come up later. Or come up sooner rather than later. Uh, aliens. This is the one that I have in the Aliens um, box set up there. That's another Aliens. The Mask again. And we got Silverado. You know, this one's not terrible, but I just got to get the top down like that. Silverado, like that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Ace Ventura, another one. Ace Ventura. And we got uh, Jet Li, Fist of Legend. There you go. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. This is the Baz Luhrmann one. Right there. And I think... And yeah, that's it. So there you go, guys. That is uh, another VHS haul. Not as successful as the first one, I will say. Um, you know, getting that Rocketeer first uh, draw in my first video was amazing. But again, guys, you know, a bit of a crapshoot. Did get some good ones. Really, it's a shame about those ones that are just stuck together. Like... They have no purpose if they're glued together like that. And it's like, there's no way to get them apart unless you rip them. You know, unless like you get like a, a knife and you cut it down. But I mean, yeah, it's it's too bad. Anyways, guys, uh, hopefully you found that entertaining. Uh, it was entertaining to kind of find some good ones, you know, like getting uh, Apollo 13 and getting American Pie and Bowfinger especially. So again, guys, uh, make sure you check out my first video if you guys did not check that out. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you would like to see more videos just like this. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much to all my Patreon members. You can find them all right here. And again, join the Patreon community. We got exclusive content, uh, hangout live streams, and I give you guys movies every single month. And uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Letterboxd, and TikTok at Brando Critic. And I want to say want to say thank you so much to my supporters 
or uh, my sponsors, sorry. Again, I'm just rambling because I'm just I'm so mad about that RoboCop. It's too bad. You can find my partners at Movie Scene Canada in the link in the description. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care.